What is it that we need to improve on so that we can break through and reach that next level? What is it you learned about yourself last year? What is it that you've learned about yourself over the last few podcasts or more specifically over last year? What is it that has helped you grow as an individual that means that we can break through to that next level, that we can step up and step out and be the person in the business that we want to be? Mentoring with Geraldine is a bite-sized practitioner podcast for naturopaths, nutritionists, herbalists, coaches, and practitioners. This podcast responds directly to the needs of you, the practicing natural therapist. We have interviews during the holiday season and business and mindset support each week so you'll get the variety you need to enjoy and stay motivated in your practice. Don't forget to subscribe to receive the weekly episodes And if you want to connect with me, always check the show notes because that's where you'll find the links to book appointments and, of course, to join the Academy, the membership group, where there's constant connection and community with like-minded practitioners. Now, let's get started. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mentoring with Geraldine and the Bite Size Podcast. How the devil are you? So today I want to talk to you about burnout to breakthrough. So now, you know what I'm talking about, right? You get overexcited about something, then you work really hard at it, then you become exhausted, and then you think, I'm going to quit. And then you either quit or you go, no, I'm going to carry on, and you break through to the next level, but you break through exhausted. Do you know what I mean? You may have done it with your business. You may have done it during study. You may have done it in a relationship. We all work without boundaries. (laughs) We all work hard. And then we discover that we're at the end of our tether in whatever area because of whatever thing, and we change it. So I think a few episodes ago, I talked about my daughter who had the complete tanty when I said I was going to work. And so I had to change things. It dawned on me I was coming home angry and grumpy and upset from being a nurse and working in the hospital system. And she was the one who was that breakthrough moment. She's the one who had a full-on tantrum when I said I was going to work. And so I had to have that breakthrough moment of, right, what am I going to do about my nursing? Am I going to keep doing the job I don't like? With people who are nice enough, but it isn't a job I'm enjoying. And do I want to change? Do I want to look at something else? And I did. I broke through. I took on board her tantrum and went, this isn't for me. So at the dinner table and said, you obviously all hate it when I go to work. It's not just Eve who's the one who shouted about it when I go to work at that place, not when I go to work, but at that particular place of business. So I'm thinking I change things and I work differently. And how do you all feel about my working from home more? You're going to have to pull your socks up, do your own homework another night a week. Because Monday night, my husband would go and get, he got them from school and he had a half day, which finished at 2.30. My mathematics has never been very good, but half a day normally would equate to earlier than 2.30. But anyway, he would go and get them from school and then he would do homework, muck around, play with them, whatever, cook dinner, and then they'd be ready for bed when I finished because I did one late night a week, Monday, and it worked brilliantly. My Monday night has always been full. Loved it. So when we think about this breakdown to break through, that's exactly what I did with, it was my daughter that was one who had the breakdown. I didn't have a breakdown. I was just working and not enjoying it. But it gave me that breakthrough moment of, I need to change. I need to change the way I do things. I need to change the way I connect with people. I need to change the way my business hours and the way I run my business. So any burnout or breakout or breakdown can lead us to this breakthrough. And you've had moments, you've had moments where you've just had enough. And you've walked out, a friend of mine, CEO, she's doing amazingly well. And she just went into her boss's office one day and she was sitting there talking to him and she said, you know what, this just sounds, you know, she's talking to him about business. And she said, you know what, I've just been talking to you about 
my resignation without realizing it. I think I just quit. And he was like, yeah, I think you did, if you want to. And she was like, yeah, I think I do. I think I want to quit. So everybody's breakthrough, breakdown, breakout, whatever it is, to get to the next level is going to be different. Every time we do that, we achieve the next level. We move up. We have realizations. We have those realities of change that have kicked in and helped us and supported us to get to the next level, have helped us and supported us to understand what needs to change and what we need to change to get there. So how about we have a few questions today to help you to get to that breakthrough point? What are the biggest challenges in your business? What is challenging you in your business right now? What is causing you to not want to get up in the morning or not want to go to work? Or what is stopping you? What are you avoiding? What is it that rubs you up the wrong way? What is it that really irritates you? What are those challenges in your business? What's stopping you turning up as the real and authentic you to your work and to your place of business? For me, it's still emails. I still have to talk myself through creating emails. Like emails is this big block for me. I have one a week and then Black Friday, I have to send 10 or 12 because everybody else is sending 200 and I have to have one scene in between everybody else's. And so it drives me insane, this one thing, and it is definitely a block for me. What are your blocks that we need to break through so that you can reach the next level? What do you want to improve on? What is that next step of improvement for you? What are you reaching to? What do you need to reach through? What do you need to go around to get to that next level that you can improve on from before? What is that difference that you're improving on from before, from the last couple of months? So, you know, we've only just started the year, but the last couple of months, the last quarter of last year probably is a better thing to look at, or the last half of last year. What is it that we need to improve on so that we can break through and reach that next level? And over the last year, since I've just mentioned last year, what is it you learned about yourself last year? What is it that you discovered, or hopefully in the last few podcasts, you've really been thinking, you know, mm, like resilience, making sure I've got my boundaries, setting the boundaries, developing my Sunday so that my week runs smoothly. What is it that you've learned about yourself over the last few podcasts or more specifically over last year? What is it that has helped you grow as an individual that means that we can break through to that next level, that we can step up and step out and be the person in the business that we want to be? Or is it that we're currently in burnout, currently exhausted, have no resilience, are listening to the podcast hoping that I have got the answer and the magic wand, and meanwhile is that we have to sit down and create those boundaries and take some self-care so that you can learn and you can look back because if that's where you are now, then you know you need to stop that behavior so you can break through, so you can go to that next level, so you can achieve what you want to achieve going forward. As well as what did you learn about yourself last year? What do you need to let go? There's bound to be something you need to let go. Come on, be honest with yourself. What is it you need to let go so that you can adapt, so that you can grow, so that you can break through and achieve what you want to achieve? We both know there's something that you need to let go of. And it might be a relationship. It might be putting your children on eBay and selling them. Who knows? Don't do that. By the way, there was a joke. What is it that you need to let go of? How is it that you are going to achieve that next level and break through what is sitting staring at you? When is the moment in your life every day that drives you nuts? Because that's what you need to look at, take a step back from, and see it from an outside perspective. Took me a while to figure out, you know, my daughter had this huge breakdown 
for me to have the breakthrough to move my business to the next level to say, right, I'm going to step up. I need to cover that work money with naturopathy money, which means I have to put myself out there, which means I have to take the next step in business, right? I have to move myself forward. I have to do these other things. So uh, I can't remember what I actually did. I started teaching, I think, such a long time ago at the WEA, Workers Education Association, I think it's called. So I started giving my first talks in there and met a lot of new people and new clients, was able to take on new clients because I'd opened more time in my books because I had to cover. I think back in the day, it was my two shifts gave me $250. And I looked at that and I'm like, that's two clients. And yet I'm giving the hospital two days of my life. What am I doing? I only need two extra clients. And yet here I am opening up five slots. So I made my money back in droves once I'd gone out and put myself out there and broken through that perspex ceiling that I'd given myself or that wall that had stopped me going and sharing my knowledge and myself with other people. And for you, it might be that you're sitting there going, I can't do the tech. I can't do any tech. I can't figure it out. I can't do anything. Mate, the word can't is all that's holding you back. If I can do tech, anyone can do tech. Tech, all this technology is literally just trying. That's it. That's all it is. And want to do it. I don't want to edit my podcast because I don't want to listen to myself over and over again editing. That is why I pass it off. I have to look at it and go, what is it I don't want to do, can't do because it's not me. So I don't want to do my book work and my account. So I have a bookkeeper. I don't want to edit my podcast because I don't want to listen to myself. So that was something that held me back originally when I first started podcasting. Back in the day, that one's disappeared and vanished because I was trying to edit my own podcast and I hated listening to my own voice. I don't edit anything. You know, you, if you're there for a Facebook Live, then you will see the unedited version. I don't go back and change or update or do anything, even though I think at the end of it, it says you can cut parts now. I don't bother. It's like, hey, you're here for the journey with me. So what is it that's stopping you that you need to change, that you need to develop so that you can break through that plastic ceiling or that cling film that you've given yourself that's preventing you from stepping forward? Now, want the focus call? Book the call. Link is in the show notes because we can nut this out together. I'm happy to help you because you've made it all the way through to the end of the podcast. Love it. You know the deal. I love five stars. So I'm going to leave you there. It is a short bite-sized podcast and I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to leave you thinking about what can I do? What can I break through? What can I let go of? What can I grasp? Have a good think about the past and I can't wait to catch up with you on the next podcast. See you soon. Thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget to rate, review and subscribe to the podcast for the weekly episodes. If you'd like even more support and learning, then the Academy is for you. Here you'll find part two of the herbal discussions, more clinical learning and case studies to support your clients in practice. Bye for now.